Alright, hello everyone, Legano Fan 22 NASCAR here, and I'm going to be doing a review of every NASCAR diecast that I have. And, uh, this, I'm doing this because, of course, I'm going to Texas Motor Speed before the race this weekend, so I'm leaving on Friday morning. This is about, I'm going to be leaving about, uh, maybe about, I would say, I'm estimated 24 hours, so. So, I, I have, I'm reviewing about, I have, um, Nine different years. I have 1990, the year 1997, the inaugural race. Then 2003, uh, the April 2003 race, the 2005 November race, the inaugural uh, November fall race, the 2007 April race, the 2008 April race, the 2009 November race, the 2013 April race. This is the first NASCAR race I went to that I can remember. The 2015 Duck Commander 500 April race, which was one of my best races that I had, one of the most funnest times there. And the 2016 Duck Commander 500, I did not go there. And then the one, the the most recent race I went to, which is the AAA Texas 500. Um, that was my first November race, so that was pretty fun, seeing all those three races. And also, too, it was my first time seeing the Xfinity Series run, so... Had a lot of fun seeing those trucks in the Xfinity Series run, so... First off, I'll start off with the 1997 car, and let's get reviewing that one. Okay, so this is the first car here. It is the inaugural race. Race. I have done a, re I have done a review on each one of these cars. Except for, I think, like a few of them, which is a 2015 Duck Commander 500, the 2009, and the 2013 one. But I did do a review on each of the other ones, so... Here's a inaugural race car. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite ones. So the Interstate Battery is 500. I'm aware of this being the only car that has rubber tires for a diecast car. And this, they did not have it at the racetrack. Oh, like all the other ones I like right here, they came with the the little uh, what do you call it? The little manual thing about for the I forgot what you call it. But this one actually came from Reville. So this is pretty cool to have. The Texas Special. Really nice looking car. I must say. So this is a real special car to me because it's the first race. So. Yeah. And it says eat more beef. I'm probably going to be getting caught something in the comments right there. About that. So yeah, pretty nice car, let's say. So now let's move on to the next one, which is the 2003 car. Let's go. So moving on to the next one here is this one. It's really heavy. This is the heaviest one I have. This is the April race because of course they didn't have November race. And this is the Samsung Roadie Radio Shack 500. Texas Motors Bedway, and then this is this is pretty weird though. Um, where the window net is, it's plastic right there. As you can see right there, though, it's plastic right there. Clear plastic. I don't know why they why they did that, but this is really heavy though. I must say though. So in a way, this is almost just like a promotional diecast. It wasn't really like a. I don't know what you can call it, like a, I don't know, it just looks more like a promotional diecast in a way. So this is one of the weirdest looking in my opinion, but it does, it does, I like, I do like that wave though, right there. And then the O3, that Navy, like the United States ship looking, something like that, so that's pretty cool. And the Texas Special, and this is the last Texas Special car that I have, so. Now time to move on to the 2005 car, which is pretty special car because it is an inaugural November race car for the Dickies 500 November the Oops. Oh, sorry about that. Oops. apologize for that I believe it was November the 8th 2005 this was one of the pretty detailed cars the Monte Carlo 
It's a pretty nice looking car. Right, 2005 to 2007. They have pretty nice uh, design of a car. It's, it's a mission complete. www.shoptms.com on the back. 2005. No, it's funny that I'm missing 2004 and that was my birthday year. And I don't have it, but I have two of the years surrounding it. 2003 and 2005. But this one is one of the lighter cars, surprisingly. So... It is pretty nice looking. I got the 2003 car, the 2005 car, and the uh, 2008 car from. It's not. It's like a, it's an antique store, even though they're not antiques really. But yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty glad to find these. So next one will be the 2007 Samsung Mobile 500. My opinion, this was one of the best looking NAS cars. Nationwide took this, I believe, in 2008 and 2009. Whoop, god dang it, sorry about that. I'm using this on carpet, because my desk is so full of stuff I'm taking uh, to the races, so I don't have room for it. But Samsung 500, Monte Carlo SS, 2007. There's a whole bunch of those contingency sponsors right there, 2007. 15, 2007, Texas Motor Speedway, Shop TMS. This is probably my most favorite part about this car. This is that Texas flag right there. Oh yeah, so by the way though, as going on right there, speaking of the Texas flag, this will be a perfect opportunity since I get to go down in the info before pre-race. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of stuff about the track, like about the banking. I'm going to show you the new start finish line. But yeah, if you didn't know guys though, I'm subscribed to uh, Texas Motor Speedway. And their start finish line is literally the Texas flag. It still is it's the checker pattern pattern. But the they're at the like where the on the like the info part, that area it's the blue and the white star. Like like that. And then the red, there's checkered on the bottom red it's red. And then the white is checkered, so it's a pretty cool and then on the ballpark, they call it the ballpark, on the left side that's the American flag, and on the right side is the Texas flag, so that's pretty cool what they did. Next one is a 2008 Samsung Mobile 500. This is the the um, the paint on here is very smooth and feels very weird. But this this the, each year they got more and more detail in their cars, at least for sponsors wise. And by the way, Lionel, Lionel does not make these die cast. They have to go to a different uh, a site to create these cars. So throttle up on there. I just, uh, I just like the, the the feel of this car. I like the paint of it. It feels really nice. Next one. My dad went on this race. I didn't go. However, my dad did go. This was a 2009 November race, Dickies 500. So, I don't know what this building is. I'm in Texas and I have no clue. There's a building right there. I have no clue at all what it is. I never saw it before, saw it before in my life. And I have no clue what that is. No clue at all what that is. It says something on there. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Let me try to read it, what's on there. Oh, it's just sticky stuff. But anyway, yeah, pretty nice car. Next up is the first race I went to that I can personally remember, which is the 2013 NRA 500. This one doesn't actually have the race. It's just basically like the... This is the only one that doesn't have the race on the hood. So basically, this is just a Texas Motor Speedway car. It is pretty nice though. This is in 2013, the new Gen 6. They didn't put the, the, the name banner or anything like how the how they how they now do. However, though, as you can see right there, there they did put a camera right there. See that right there? That's a that's a. See that right there where my finger is? That's a camera, so that's pretty cool. Too bad they can't put that on all the diecasts, but they have a pink chip right there. So, sorry about that. That actually did that. But yeah, this is a pretty cool. Next up is probably my most favorite race, even though I don't don't really I didn't care for the winner of the race, we could say. But 
Duck Commander 500 2015. Now this car was specifically made to me look like a duck. Like if you could look at the the way that the the paint goes like from really light to darker green and then black. Like uh, I forget I don't know what kind of duck it is to breed, but it looks like one of those duck the green head duck or something like that. And even the 15 each number has it too, that white right there. So that's pretty cool. The No Limits Texas. the evolution of the new brand new logo on there and then a whole bunch of ducks and and uh i think it's yeah just ducks on there so that's pretty cool and of course the reason why i like this because of course well duck commander 500 then this was probably one of my most favorite paint schemes out of all of them was the duck the 2016 duck commander 500 now this this is a military camo, so this is really, really, really cool. But the Nam banner right there doesn't have no Chevy logos or anything. But very camouflaged. I really like that. I think it's an interesting paint scheme they cho chose for this car. The Commander 500 Texas Motor Speedway. And then that weird uh, orange and yellow. Right there, Goodyear Eagle, No Limits Texas, Texas Motor Speedway, Go Texas World Speedway, whatever it says. So, really nice looking car. By far my favorite one. And the most recent race I went to, which was this one, a AAA Texas 500. I believe I did do a review on this, so I'll just go ahead and just glimpse over it. I do like the stars and stripes of Americana on it. So basically for 2016, I guess their theme mainly was um, like patriotic. Because this one's military and this one was Americana. So pretty cool. I like their theme that Texas Motor Speedway chose. I'm really looking forward to the O'Reilly Auto Parts there in Texas Speed Motor Speedway scheme. So let me go ahead and pause this real quick and be back. Alright, so here it is, all the Texas Mower Speedway car diecast cars I have. Um, also, too, I wonder, in, uh, there was a contest or something at Fort Worth Schools that, like, you could design a that NASCAR and, like, design it. So, I don't know if they're going to reveal it there at Texas Motor Speedway. It wouldn't surprise me, considering Texas Motor Speedway came up with the idea. By the way, that car, whatever, if it get, whatever car gets chosen, that will be made in the NASCAR Authentics line. So, it wouldn't be surprising me if it would be put in a way 4 or 5 for this year. So, they might have it here at Texas Motor Speedway this weekend. But, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys probably, maybe tomorrow for a live stream. I don't know. I'll debate about it. See you guys later. Bye.